Hey guys, we're here at Big Blue, and we're going to be demonstrating the 110 hammer combo dies. Uh, I'm taking a one inch piece of 1084 round bar, we're going to forge a point, forge the bevels, forge the width, and we're going to make a chef's knife with an integral bolster, which I know everyone wants to learn how to do. So I'm going to show you. And this is the easy way because we have some assistance. Now you can be a knucklehead and do it by hand, but you probably don't have your animal set up right anyway, so why not use this? 2,000, 1,900 degrees, really close. Now see, I'm working this really slow, I'm bringing it towards me, and everything I'm doing is on a quarter turn. Now everything's rough, so now I'll go back and smooth it out. Right. I didn't stick this whole piece in there and try to work it all the way down by playing around and playing around and playing around. Very methodically. Forging this section, I'm giving it a quarter turn, I'm working it out, I'm working it out. And every way I'm doing this, I'm bringing it towards me. Now you can feed it in too, but I just want to make them, I want to break it down rapidly by doing rough forging and then going back and smoothing out. So I'm going to refine this just a wee bit with my hammer. I'm going to go to the flat side, I got a roundy hammer, round side, flat side. I just want to clean my point up. So it's this something. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate it about right here. This is probably maybe five and a half, six inches. I'm going to isolate this piece of steel. My bolster will be here where my hammer is and my blade will begin here. Now the bolster is the area on an integral knife where the handle stops and the blade begins. We're going to take about five and a half or six inches. Isolate that. Uh, that right. This is what I have. Now, what I want to do now is I want to draw the width of the blade. I'm going to use all this steel to make the width. All right, so specifically a chef's knife. Its performance is based on its ability to cut or pass through materials. So you see a chef's knife, it's got a really wide, kind of a triangular shaped blade. It's a subtle arc here and a subtle arc reach, you know, reaching down to make the point. But the width allows it to have a transition from sharp, you know, like the thickness of it, to down to sharp. And you don't want secondary bevels, you just want it to be one wide blade. Two, and in, two inches to two and a half inches, that's a preference. Two inches looks really good. Two inches over about eight inches or seven or eight inches looks really nice and it works really well, but uh, mostly seven inches is like perfect. And when I want to control this piece, now I have total control. I learned this from Jimmy Kroll. So I can get under here, instead of working it like this, where I have very limited control, now I'm totally under control here. I can do anything I want here. I'm not hitting this piece of steel, I'm just showing an hammer. So now I can work it back and forth like this, or the point, and do anything I want to because I have control on two points of contact. I can stop. So I'm, I'm isolating where I'm going to forge. I'm not, I'm not able to get any further in there except for this. This is as far as I go. So now I can pull the width out, and it'll end up looking like a spear at this point. You don't have to worry about it if you have too much on one side or another you're going to take it down to like quarter or three sixteenths, all depending on how much heat you have. That's important that what I just did. See, I'm just turning like this. I'm under here and I'm, I'm running this hammer this way. 
this is going to be the edge side that I'm working on. So something that's important to know is you see this, this kind of starts looking like a spear. Now this side is a little thinner than this side. as hot as I want to go. I don't want to keep working down past this because the steel, the difference between working high carbon steel and mild steel is you can forge mild steel or the low carbon steels down in the dark temperatures, you're not going to damage it. Because it's high carbon steel, once it gets into that dull red, that 1400 degree zone, all I can do is make it smooth and then ruin it. So I don't want to forge it anymore after that. I want to stop. So I've got a really rough shape. Now what I really want to do is start, I'm going to change this dynamically. When we come back, we have enough heat. I'm going to bring it right here. I'm going to take a look and bring this down. It's going to bring the choil down. I'm going to the heel of the knife. And this will become the spot. So I'm going to get it hot, and we're going to do that.